Yes. Yep. This truck has a misfire. A misfire is a common running condition whether you're having an issue with one or multiple ignition components. If your engine has a misfire, you're going to have poor fuel economy. This means each mile you put this off, you're wasting your hard-earned money. You may also find that you have less power or acceleration. This can be dangerous. If you're trying to pull into traffic, the vehicle must respond. Now in severe cases, you may find that you have a flashing check engine light, black smoke from your tailpipe, and the engine shaking. This is a sign that you have a serious running condition. You need to turn off your vehicle and have it safely towed to a safe area to be diagnosed and fixed. Luckily, 1A Auto offers plenty of automotive parts, even tune-up related parts. You might even find that we have a helpful kit, which is going to offer several components that are typically replaced all together at the same time when you're doing a tune-up. Of course, you do want to continue on with the diagnosis first, but once you find what you need, order it from us. Now, if you have a check engine light on the dash, typically for the diagnosis, you'd want to start with a scan tool of some sort. A scan tool like this will at least let you pull the codes on your vehicle and point you in a general direction of the diagnosis process. Now, some scan tools like this one right here and certain vehicles will actually allow you to graph the vehicle while it's running. Newer vehicles, typically you can do this. Older vehicles like this one right here from the 1990s, not so much. If you did have the option for the data stream, you could run the vehicle and you'll be able to tell exactly which cylinder is having an issue and when it's having a misfire. Otherwise, if you can't do the data stream, at least pull a code. So here we are, as you can tell, this vehicle has several different misfire codes. Cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder five, multi misfire here, and then cylinder six as well. Now, as you can tell on this particular vehicle, we have a whole bunch of different miscellaneous misfire codes, different cylinders. That's telling me that I'm not just having an issue with one spark plug and we're really going to have to pay close attention when we're under the hood. So let's continue our diagnosis there. Scan tool or not, you're going to have to get under the hood for some hands-on diagnosing. Keep in mind, some vehicles are going to have direct ignition where they have an ignition coil sitting directly on top of the spark plug. There really isn't very far for that energy to travel down to the spark plug. Other vehicles like this older truck right here is going to have one single ignition coil. That ignition coil is going to have to transfer the energy all the way through an ignition wire to your distributor. The distributor has several different components, but optimally it's responsible for transferring the energy created at the ignition coil to a specific spark plug at a certain time for optimal runnability. So on this particular engine, it's an eight cylinder, so I have eight spark plugs, four along each side of the engine. These are areas that energy is getting transferred through and they are a possible area that you could have a misfire, especially if one of them's cracked, dry rotted or damaged in any way. And if they're twisted like these are here, you could find that you have a misfire just due to this. If your wires are twisted, go ahead and unplug them one at a time and switch them around as necessary. Make sure that when you reinsert them, they go into the proper port directly to the proper spark plug. And you also need to confirm that due to the fact that the wires are extremely long, you don't have any wires hanging down next to a heat source. If it's hanging down next to the exhaust manifold, of course the exhaust manifold is going to get hot and it's going to cause an issue with your wires. Make sure those are up and secure. Now, if you think about it, if the energy is not getting transferred to your spark plug at the specific time, it's not going to be able to ignite the fuel air mixture located inside of your combustion chamber. When this happens, you're going to have that fuel making its way out of the engine, not getting burnt up, and it's going to end up somewhere. You guessed it, in the exhaust. Now at this point, it could potentially get built up inside of the catalytic converter. If that fuel was building up inside the catalytic converter, think about it, your exhaust gets hot. If that fuel is just sitting in the catalytic converter, there's a small honeycomb. If the exhaust gets hot to the point that it can combust that fuel mixture inside of there, it could pop the steam on your catalytic converter or cause other damage to your engine itself. Now with all that said, I'm going to take this apart so we can have a closer look at the component. Now I've got that out of there. Let's just have a quick look. As far as the spark plug's concerned, you wanna pay attention down near where the electrode and the ground strap's located. We're paying attention to see if there's any damage here, any buildup of any sort. And you also wanna pay attention to the ceramic coating on the spark plug itself. If you even have one tiny crack on here, it's going to cause an issue. Now after you've labeled each one of the wires so you know where they go, we can remove that distributor cap. Now that we have the cap off, we can have a close look inside this area. Now these are the contact points. When your distributor rotor comes around and is supposed to disperse the energy, it's going to go to one of these contact points and those lead to your spark plug wires. 
take a quick look at each one of those contact points. If it looks like there's any buildup on them, that can be an issue why you would have a misfire condition. Once you've thoroughly inspected this and confirmed whether or not you need it, you also want to pay attention to your distributor rotor. That would be located under this cover. I'm going to pull this off of here so I can have a closer look. Typically for these, you can just lift them straight up and off. Now with this out in the open, we can have a closer look. We have the contact point where the ignition coil wire would be touching close to. As you follow your way all the way towards the very tip here, we also need to pay attention to that. This is the area that's going to be skimming across those contact points of your distributor cap. If there's any type of buildup or corrosion on either of these areas, the rotor has to be replaced. That's going to cause an issue and you might have a misfire. Okay, now on this vehicle, we found exactly what we need to fix our issue. We need wires, a distributor cap, a distributor rotor, and we need some spark plugs. We ordered everything that we need from 1AAuto.com. It was shipped to us fast and free. Now we've got our parts. Let's get them installed. Okay, so I finished installing my spark plugs, my wires, my cap and rotor along the back side of the engine. I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything else back together. We'll start it up. Oh yeah, so we've got everything back together and as you can tell, the engine runs exactly how it should. I'm excited to take this for a road test. Thanks for watching.